guys, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we're going to be doing probably the final part for a while of my Pokemon collection series. Today we're just looking at the games that I have. Not what's on them, but just the games and a few stories about that. So we're going to go ahead and get into that, but first I want to remind you guys to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all the social media. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we go with the Pokemon game collection. Um, I do have it in a my stuff stored in a Nintendo 64 case, um, just because it holds it pretty well. But first we're going to talk about the Switch games. We're talking about these because I do not have them in the actual cases. They're in my carrying case for my Switch or my Switch itself. So we got Pokemon Sword, which was the first one I played in Gen 8. Um, and I 100%ed, and then I played Shield. Did not get a complete dex till recently when I did uh, Crown Tundra. Other than that, really enjoyed these games, some of my favorites. Of course, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I did get Let's Go Pikachu first, and that's how I got Mickey as well. This is actually the first game I got for my Switch. And then a week later, I got Let's Go Eevee and Raffi. So let's get into the bulk of this. So first things first is my uh, 3DS that has the original six games uh, downloaded on it, as well as Pokemon Sun in it right now. This has been my first 3DS that I had. Uh, it's a little torn, wear and tear on it, but I've had it for a rather long time. Next is our... Game Boy that I've had literally since I was five or six. Still works like a charm. Um, and then let's get into the DS games. So this is how I store my DS games. Of course we got Black 2, White 2, White, Black, Soul Silver, Heart Gold, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. I did beat all these last year. I re-beat them. Uh, I'm going to rework on that. Basically just to try to 100% them because I still have yet to 100% them. Then we have my DS carrying case inside the Nintendo 64 carrying case. I don't think there's anything on this side. However, on this side we have Ultra Sun, uh, uh, Y, and Omega Ruby. Got an extra uh, memory card, which actually I kind of want to check out, see how good that is um, for my camera that I'm using right now. Then we got Ultra Moon, Moon, X, and Alpha Sapphire. X is actually the first game where I got a complete Pokedex. Uh, everything else I've been kind of moving around since. Why I have yet to beat, because I did restart it, I have to play it again. Most of the games in there are 100% beaten, though. And, actually, I forgot. The Game Boy Advance SP, I was 8. This, I've had since I was 5. And still works like a charm. <laughs> but, yeah, I have really no use to play it right now, but I just keep it as a keepsake because it was the first console I ever got. Let's see what else is in here. Really just some stylus that are Pokemon stylus. Some of them are the Pokeball. And then in here, this is where Ruby's supposed to go. In here, we got Fire Red Leaf Green, which I still have to beat. I'm stuck on Ruby right now. That's why I haven't beaten it yet. Then in here are Emerald and Sapphire. This Sapphire is actually the original Sapphire that I had. It is got like 200 and something hours on it. And it was the game that I was addicted to as a kid. As something that if they were to do the uh, what you call it, the uh, digital console releases, still wouldn't get rid of them after that. So I think that is it for the games for now. Let's uh, hope that we can expand the collection soon. Thank you guys. Back to the nice looking. It's that nerd Ryan. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Tell me what your favorite game was down below that you grew up with. 
Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all social media. It's that nerd Ryan telling you, we're all Pokemon Masters on the inside.